previously on Vermont Master Anglers. So today we're we're doing a fishing challenge. Sean and Judd, I hope you guys are ready to get crushed because we're intending on doing that. <laughs> each species we catch will be worth one point, and each master angler size will be worth an additional one bonus point. Got him. Got him both. When we last left off, Team Bio was at two points with two species on the board, and the obtuse anglers were at eight points with seven species on the board and one master angler fish. My name is Zachary McNaughton, and I am not a professional angler. I've been fishing for over 20 years, and the one thing that these years have taught me most is that I have a lot to learn. So let's meet some of Vermont's true master anglers, and together we'll discover some fishing techniques and explore the many species that this great state has to offer. After spending the first three hours stream fishing for cold water species, Team Bio decides to join us on the big lake. All right, species number, what, three? Three. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, we just got here. So, <laughs> um, we just put in, we're at the mouth of Otter Creek where it enters uh, Lake Champlain. And uh, we just launched the boat at the ramp. And we just got a small mouth. It's not a big one, but uh, caught it on a little Rapella type crankbait. Water's really dirty, so this chartreuse color is really effective when it's like this. Basically, we just threw two lures out like that behind the boat, and we're just trolling along the edge of the river channel where those rocks are. Fish are right waiting in the uh, little crevices around the giant pieces of broken rock waiting to ambush something. We're gonna get one bigger than this, but species number three. Huh. I finally got a new species on the board. Largemouth bass. Giant. Yeah, <laughs> but we needed the species, so sure. we got it. Right back in the same spot, you just got the largemouth pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's a nice one too. Yeah, it? nice. Not a master angler, but. Do you want the yeah, uh, net or the grabber? Uh, we'll go with the net. There you go. All right, that's a landed <laughs> fish. Huh. Yeah, 30 and 3 quarters. Huh, nice. Not bad though. Species six? Yeah, species I believe so. six. <laughs> All right, so we've clearly found a little bit of a hot spot. We got a tributary coming into this slough that we're fishing. Right after I caught that pike, I threw it back in there, same lure and a pike just bit me clean off with 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, so I lost my swim jig. But uh, I put another one on, a uh, slightly different color, and I just got this black crappie. <laughs> and it just goes to show you that, you know, as a panfish, you don't always have to throw little lures. That is a five inch swim bait that that <laughs> crappie just ate. <laughs> so let's throw that one on the board. We're gonna put that on the board. It's 10 and a half inches. Uh -huh. Yeah, still a nice one. And if I was looking for dinner tonight, I would take a bucket of those all day long. All right, good. Same spot where we've been catching all those fish. We got a new species, yellow perch. Not a very big one, but we will turn this into bowfin bait here and see if we can get one of those. Yeah. And this we just got on a worm under, under bobber. Nothing fancy. Bobber just went down. <laughs> I'm gonna lift on it here. Oh. Oh. That? Yep. I think we need to that first. Oh. 
Oh man. <laughs> finally the smallest of the four but we finally got them <laughs> we got oh, we got the bow pin and i'm going to tell you how we did it the perch head the perch that judd was catching earlier cut the head off put it on a big heavy hook clipped directly to a steel leader with a bobber Oh. Uh, my pliers. But it's another species. But it's another species. We'll measure that one just to, or just estimate it. Uh, and we can measure it. It's not a master angle. Right. Probably about 18. So I'm gonna. I got one. What? It didn't even go under. <laughs> it didn't go under, you're right. Oh, there goes my perch head. Um, that's right here. That spot on its tail is what tells you that it's a male. And when they start to spawn, their belly will turn turquoise. But they're primitive native Vermont fish. A lot of fun to catch. Yeah. Bigger than the one we just landed. Still not mastering it. Or something. Bluegill? Bluegill, yes. Bluegill. <laughs> Judd and I are still up in that slough. We've moved around again from the bowfin area. We found this beaver lodge. It's a big one too. And the cool thing about beaver lodges is that they are fish magnets. All the sticks that the beavers make the lodges out of all extend out into the water. It's a maze of underwater sticks and it's prime habitat for fish. That's this one here on the left. The other one is a blue gill on the right. And you can see with the pumpkin seed, it's got the red edge to its opercular spot, that black dot on its gill cover. On the blue gill, it has just a plain black spot with no red edge. <clears throat> the pumpkin seed is also just sort of um, speckled random spots on its side whereas if you kind of look closely at the bluegill you can see that it's got bars on the side so there's two species that were caught on a worm and a bobber right next uh, to the beaver lodge five o'clock now um, but uh, we're a third of the way practically through the master angler species list so pretty good diversity of species today but we have a few more we have on our list that we're going to try to check off With the main lake starting to develop into three foot rollers, we decided it was time to pick up a gar and then head back up into the Otter Creek to wrap up our day. Armed with his gar flies, I hadn't even turned off the main motor yet and Drew had already hooked into a prehistoric beast. <laughs> I, I think we got that one. Hey, Sean and Judd, guess what we got that I don't think you got. <laughs> Look at that. Love these things. With that out of the way, we ran back up into the Otter Creek to get out of the wind. Fish? We tied on a few small jigs with hopes of picking up a missing panfish species. Oh yeah! Rock bass! Here we go. Number nine, the rock bass. <laughs> I got me a master angular stick roll. Look at that thing. Oh, crappy, crappy, get the net, get the net, just in case. You got it? 
Oh, it's a big one. It's a mask. Come on. Zach, what do you got there? Who's your friend? Hello. Say hello to my crappy friend. Looks like you're having a crappy day, my friend. Check That's one number one. number 10. Here we go. Oh. Get in the air. Keep that puppy. Hey, mate. Oh! That looks pretty close to Master Angler, too. Right up the middle in 16 and a half feet of water, trolling a six foot diving propeller. We caught a white perch. So they're schooling out the channel. I'm trying to get a Master Angler size one. <clears throat> This is bigger than the last one. I'm still not master angler. Another white perch. We've now entered the trolling phase of the day. And the lake is just three quarters. It, our chances of getting a walleye out there are very slim. Um, we know most of the walleye aren't in the river anymore, but we're just gonna troll the otter for a little while. We're marking a bunch of stuff down there. Um, like that's a nice looking fish right there. Um, so. We're just hoping that we pull over something and hook up. This can be a great way of getting master angler panfish. Um, we could pick up a walleye. It's possible to pick up drum. I've caught smallmouth bass doing this as well. Um, in fact, if you watch our episode on trolling for walleye in the Connecticut River, uh, we caught master angler perch, sunfish, bluegill, and we did, the only thing we didn't get was a master angler walleye that day. So, uh, and we caught a master angler bullhead doing this. So very productive, hopefully, we'll see. All right, folks, we just got ourselves Mr. Walter. Number 11, baby, wonder what you guys are at. Um, um, um. Maybe not a master, but it counts nonetheless. Species number 11. What are you thinking there, Sean and Judd? Mm -hmm. Here it goes. <laughs> yeah, so we were just pulling out and uh, we uh, met some folks here who were, who were fishing off the dock and they had just caught some bullheads. And so we thought we'd try to get one of those, but instead I got this huge rock bass. But we needed it for the list, so we're up oh. to 12 now. It's not a master angler, but that is indeed a channel catfish right there. Oh yeah, That's buddy. That's number 12. <laughs> Drew, 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 Drew! I got a drum! Oh my God! <laughs> That's 13 species? That is. All right, hold on, I'm down to the that's number 13 for us. <laughs> Get your musky yet? Yeah, I just let him go. For real? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Somewhere. We got to get out and get our boat bed. We landed six of them. Really? Are you kidding me? Carter. And we lost probably as many. Uh, We've been, we've been trying to do so many other things. Well, we're, we're just trolling now, hoping to pick up something random we don't have yet. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go play with both men. All right. Right there, right there. Watch that again. After seeing the main lake conditions, we decided to hunker down at the mouth of the Otter Creek and soak some cut bait and worms to finish out the evening. I got something. Maybe a weed. I don't know. Nope, I got something. Yeah, can you just pull something up? What you got there? Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're bullheads. That is species four. <coughs> I just swallowed the dog. <laughs> yep. The chin barbels <coughs> on this <coughs> bullhead. <coughs> are um yellow all the way to where they touch the lower jaw and that means that it's a yellow bullhead um the most common bullhead species in vermont is the brown bullhead of course 
what most people call bull pout, but there's two others. There's the yellow bullhead and the black bullhead. Yellow bullhead tend to be much smaller, pale overall, and the most distinguishing feature are the solid yellow uh, <clears throat> chin barbels. But I just dropped this down on the bottom, two split shot in a worm hook with a half a night crawler, and uh, species 13. Oh, oh, grab it, grab it, grab it, it's going, it's going. Yep. Who is I it? I lost it. Yep, I did. Yep. Is it? What do I do? Just start reeling. That might be our bullpen, dude. Gosh, what is Ooh. it? Oh, oh my what is gosh. It? Chill, cat. Dude, force it this way. Nice. Bring it in. Straight at me. Yep. Oh, it's coming. coming. Where you going? Come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes! Well, well, well. Look at this beastie. Master Angler Channel Cat might be the final one of the challenge. This is not too bad. All right, we gotta put him back. Look at this. 26. 26, okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I got a video here. The final fish of the tournament, a 26 inch eel. That might be the game changer we needed. All right, my friend, have a fist bump on that one. I don't even know if you want to touch my fist. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> right as the buzzer went. Is that, is that recording? Yeah, I mean, it might die any second. Hey, Drew. Hey, Judd, how are you doing? Good. We just, I, right, I was landing that eel as the buzzer went off at, at midnight. Yeah, cool. It 20, was in the boat. It when, was in, it was in the boat, 26 inches, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we got 15. How many master angler species did you guys get? Zero. Really? What? No way! I, that that we that, were banking on getting creamed by master angler species. That that brown wasn't master angler. Was it? Wow! Because we got four. Yeah, I, I, that's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, we got gar, um, lake trout, eel, and what was the other one? Oh, uh, we just got a channel cat that was uh, twenty or thirty-three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, are you guys at the uh, boat launch at, uh, at Otter? I, I, I'm having trouble hearing you. Unfortunately, after 18 hours of filming, the battery on my camera finally died. In the end, Team Bio finished with 14 species of fish with no master angler bonus entries. The obtuse anglers finished with 15 species and 4 master angler entry bonus points. So it was pretty close, but the interesting thing is I think when we compare our lists they're not going to be the same so um, we've got some species I know they didn't catch and they've got some species that we didn't catch so the overall diversity is more than just what the individual teams got.